yesterday. Well, we live in a digital world where technology plays a key role in everything. That includes education. On both the secondary and college levels now, chalkboards, transparencies, and if you're old enough, you remember mimeograph sheets. Well, those are all things of the past. Now, teaching and learning are heavily technology-based. We cannot have any other color other than the white and black. These nursing students are ready to get the new semester started at Mott Community College in Flint. They're seated at desks, paying close attention to their instructors, taking copious notes. At first glance, their lecture hall appears to be typical, and it is by 21st century standards. Resident computer, uh, way to play a disc is in now we're all Blu-rays. We have a document camera, uh, video projector, screen. This is a smart classroom, and Mott makes good use of them. I'm able to bring my computer that I do all my work on, bring it right into the classroom, plug it in, and my world that I have outside the classroom is right there at my fingertips. Like the lecture hall, this smaller classroom has everything instructors like Honors College Director Dr. Brian Ivory need to teach teach today's tech-savvy students. Like me, he remembers old-school classrooms, much different from this one. You had a chalkboard, you had chalk, you had overhead slides. Well, now you can bring the entire universe right into the classroom through the computer, and that's more engaging for our students. Chris Bola is Mott's media services manager. He's responsible for the setup, the equipment, and as you can imagine, it's not cheap. The college has made a significant investment in technology over the last uh, 10 to 15 years. Here on the Mott Community College main campus and at its satellite locations, there are more than 225 classrooms, all of which are smart equipped. At $18,000 each, that's more than $4 million to equip them. For Mott, the money comes from student technology fees the college charges based on credit hours. For most students taking 12 hours, that fee is about $100 a semester. It's a steady but limited revenue stream, even on this level. For school districts, which also use smart classrooms, it's a much different story. Well, it's really hard for them because most of the time they get their money through bonds or, or donations, grants, things like that. And there are no blank checks. But schools pretty much have to have this equipment to keep students at all levels engaged. When you want to utilize uh, YouTube videos like TED Talks, all you have to do is go right through the internet, through the computer, and bring it right to the classroom. Kids today, they are using iPads, they're using all kinds of different technology, uh, laptops, when they're at a very young age, they are coming in expecting this. And when you don't give them that, it's very hard for them to learn in a manner that they're not accustomed to. And another major challenge for schools with smart classrooms is keeping up with that ever-changing and expensive technology. Bola tells me he has to replace equipment there at Mott on a rolling basis every five to six years. 